Metal Jesus here, and I'm back again with the Big JB. That's right, and we're going to continue looking at my amazing Blizzard collection today. So dude, one of the things I was really looking forward to from Blizzard back in the day was this game called Ghost that right. they were going to they were going to release this on consoles. It was going to be like a third person action game, right? Right, exactly. StarCraft Ghost, set in the StarCraft universe, right. told the story from the perspective of one of the characters called Nova, and she is a ghost, which is like this sniper kind of character. I'm really impressed that you actually know the name of a character from a game that never got released. <laughs> oh man, well the thing is is that they took that character and um, she is in new games. Hmm. Um, so she is in oh. more recent games. Oh, interesting. Done. I didn't know that. Yeah, so they've taken that idea and I think people just kind of fell in love with the idea of that character oh, okay. and so they so they ran with it. So you actually have some stuff from the game that never got released. That's I so do. Cool. Boy, I wish I had a demo disc of it. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no so this is a mouse pad that I got and it's got uh, Nova and Zeratul, the two different characters that they were, they were pimping for the game there. Um, and then the thing that I love the most. This is cool. This is cool. The StarCraft Ghost mess Messenger bag, uh, and it's a cool bag. Not only is it cool because it's StarCraft Ghost, but right? It's actually really, really cool. Oh yeah, I mean, this is knitted on there. I mean, it, this is actually pretty high quality. Yeah, it really is. Uh, not big enough for quite big enough for a laptop bag, depending on your laptop. But it's, uh, well, it's, it's an awesome. Where did you get piece. that? Um, that was E3. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. It was an E3 thing because you know, getting free stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, totally. Yeah. Well, cool. Okay, so that's that's Ghost there, a game that we sadly never got. What else you got here? Unfortunate. So, you know, this is not something that everybody's going to have. And I just got to do a little shout out because um, my wife is an incredibly creative lady. And um, it, World of Warcraft and StarCraft, kind of all the Blizzard stuff has just made its way into our family life, mm -hmm. too. So my wife used to play World of Warcraft with me. Um, and so for Valentine's Day, she used to put together this huge package of stuff that was as if it were from the game. Because hmm. they have holidays in World of Warcraft, and they have a Valentine's Day style one, and there's nice. all kinds of stuff you can get. Wine, flowers, all kinds of stuff. So she put all this stuff in a duffel bag that she made to mimic the stuff that was in the game. Um, and one of the things That's that a good woman did, right there. Oh man, <laughs> let me tell you, she is, I call her the Wonder Wife, because, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this is a thing that she made for our two characters that we played together. Nice. Um, so yeah, that, I used to keep that up on, on the wall, but you know, of course I had to take it down to bring it here. Um, and then one other thing, she has really recently gotten into watercolors. Hmm. So she did um, Pepe the bird. He's a recent addition to the game, and uh, I totally adore this little guy. Nice. <laughs> so she's just one night. Oh, I think I'm gonna do yeah, watercolors. That's awesome so, looking. Yeah. So I just had to. I had to throw that in, out there. Um, all right, so what else you got here? All right, so there's so much more that we can talk about. I, yeah. um, so this is a little, not really a bobblehead, it's kind of a, a big head thing. That, I've seen uh, these in Barnes & Noble. Yeah. You know, they'll make them from Star Wars oh, and, yeah. and a lot of different properties, but this is for, for Diablo? This is for Diablo, yeah. Okay. And they actually have uh, they actually have a Diablo one of these, and then this is Tyrael. He's uh, the angelic character that I totally love. And um, so they partnered, Blizzard partnered with them, and they've got some for StarCraft and Warcraft and for uh, Diablo. And I had to have Tyrael, because, I mean, he's awesome. Oh yeah, it looks cool. All right, so a couple other things that I've got here that I believe came from BlizzCon. I don't think that these were little tchotchkes. I think you actually had to buy these. Hmm. Um, I could be wrong. I, there's so much stuff. Oh yeah. You know? <laughs> this is a Pandaren brand Brewmaster bottle opener. Mm. I mean, I love the Pandaren and you and know. I love brew. Exactly, so it seemed like a <laughs> perfect fit. Yeah. The other thing, it's I don't know if you remember this, but there used to be these little dangly things you'd put on your cell phone. This is a Hearthstone of that. So now there is the card game that uh, Blizzard oh, came right. out with the electronic one called Hearthstone and it was based on this object that oh. was from World of Warcraft that you would use to return you to your inn. And huh. so they did had these little Hearthstone oh, cell that's phone cool. danglies. Yeah. <laughs> so I would like to think that they're about this big in the game because it takes up bag space. So man, it's amazing how how deep the the Warcraft and Blizzard lore goes. Oh, it's, I mean, it's, it's incredible. It, once you once you dive into their universe, because you just mentioned the the uh, the card game. Right. I had no idea, and I'm playing it on iPad. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. And it's uh, the stuff that they include in that, and again, even the little details and something like that. That's mm -hmm. Blizzard. We talked about it the last video. Yeah. The 
little details. It's all about the little details. Yeah, that's so, amazing. Uh, they have great games, but you start getting into the little stuff, and it's yeah, it's really yeah. good. So um, t-shirts. Let's just talk quickly about apparel. Obviously, we are both wearing Warcraft apparel here. I like your shirt a lot. Um, it's an older shirt, and it has all the animals that hunters uh, used to be able to tame in the game. There's a lot more that you can hmm. tame now. Um, and uh, there might be a couple missing, but these were kind of all the pet families. Um, and the hunter is actually kind of off here in the corner holding a bow. And there's this thing above the enemy, and it's called Hunter's Mark, or it used to be, because they recently took it out of the game. Hmm. And so I love having that shirt, because yeah. I look back and I'm like, oh, Hunter's Mark. <laughs> I miss Hunter's Mark. Um, but then, of course, I've got the Horde shirt on. This is a, the green linen shirt in the game characters can actually knit green linen shirts. Oh. And so this is a green linen shirt and this is the label that shows up in the game. Wow. For it. Yeah. That's, so that's pretty what, cool. Yeah, that is the descriptive text for it. So yeah, that's uh, I, one of my favorites. I like your shirt because uh, it, it just looks metal. You know oh, what I mean? It, I that's the it. type of shirt where I, you can go to um, like a show. Yeah, totally. You know, like, yeah, it, I mean, it, it doesn't, it doesn't sure. scream nerd, but it's totally. cool. Yeah, right? exactly. So I can wear it to, you know, concerts and stuff yeah. and people who know yeah, go, you're, yes! <laughs> people who don't go, yes! <laughs> Um, That's cool. And then, of course, the hat. And I, I love this hat. It's I've had it for a really long time. This is not necessarily unique, mm -hmm. but I got it when I was standing in line for the first expansion for World of Warcraft. Hmm. I stood in the snow with a bunch of other people <laughs> at a Best Buy, and um, they were also selling these. And I, I knew I was going to plunk down for the collector's edition as it was, but as soon as I saw this hat, I was like, okay, i got to have it. So, <laughs> cool story attached to that. That's awesome. Um, Plushies. Plushies. Stuffed animals. Now, I, I will confess that I did not get these for myself. You can believe me or not. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> um, these actually had, when you bought them, they had codes that you could redeem for in-game mini pets. Oh. That looked like the these hook. things. That's the hook. And yeah. see, now, we haven't even talked about my in-game collecting <laughs> habit. So maybe we'll give a little, bit of, a little bit of a preview on that one here. But um, So these came with those codes. And I'm like, I don't really want the plushies, but I got kids. Yeah. <laughs> so guess who got the plushies? Guess who got the codes? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Speaking of family stuff, you've seen my car. You know I've got the Horde symbol yeah. on there. And uh, I also have those family decals. Yeah, I saw that on the back of your, your window there. Right, yeah. So they're World of Warcraft themed. Those are the only ones that I would consider putting on my car besides something that was maybe Star Wars themed, <laughs> right? Um, so, and I always hated it because I look at those stickers and I'm like, I know exactly how many people you have in your family and I know all their genders. <laughs> it just, if I were a creeper, that's, that's scary. But with the World of Warcraft decals, you don't know. <laughs> I'm a Pandaren on mine. My wife is a friggin' night elf. So it's like, and then all my kids are on there. You don't know what they are. Going down the freeway when you're driving, do you get to Hong Kong, you know? Or I wish I did. Yeah. I've seen one other person actually in the parking garage that I that I park in, oh, the, yeah? in the mornings. Yeah, that actually has the stickers on his car. Huh. So I assume it's him. It could not be, you know, who knows, but. Car stickers. Car, car stickers. Decals. That's, yep. that's awesome. All right, so the games. Yes. I have been playing World of Warcraft since the friends and family alpha of the original game. Even then, I was like, dude, this game is amazing. Mm -hmm. And the stuff that has evolved over time in the game and just how they've kept refining it, it just, it, that's what keeps me hooked about it. Huh. So when the first edition came out, I got the collector's edition for I, it. I just want to hold this because, again, it's like, this is one of the reasons why people love to collect physical releases, exactly. right? I mean, this is, you see behind me here, right. um, this is the reason why we love these, because this is a this is a substantial piece of, oh, definitely. of, of merchandise here, which I just love. I mean, it's it's embossed. Yeah. It's also aged. Right. And it looks like, I mean, it almost looks like a book that you could have yeah. on there. And so, and then the stuff on the inside is incredible. We mentioned the art books that are in there, but then they throw in things like the mouse pad. They'll have, this one has a map of of the world of, yeah. uh, of the, the world of Warcraft um, and the DVDs like behind oh, the scenes yeah. DVDs. So you have the first one. Well, you have them all here. So let, let's right. let's very quickly kind of go through these um, because they're awesome. Yes, they they absolutely are. And the cool thing is that they have the the box theme matches the theme of the game, right? So World of, of Warcraft, it's got that you just mentioned the aged sort of looks mm -hmm. like a book. So Burning Crusade was the second expansion. Um, it, this is green, and mm -hmm. there was a lot of green themes um, to it because you fought. The green sort of characterizes the the demonic force in mm. um, the Warcraft world. I didn't know that. Yeah, so there's sort of the fell energies that kind mm. of stuff. So um, there was a lot of that uh, in the game, and so that. That's Burning Crusade. Then Wrath of the Lich King, one of my absolute favorites. It looks frosty. It's set yeah. in the uh, northern part 
of the globe of World of Warcraft, which is snowy. Uh, it's got a lot of Viking themes, that kind of stuff. And so I love just that kind of frosty yeah. Nordic look to it. And so each one of these has an art book and all that stuff. Art well. book and mouse pad and CD for the music and then the back behind the scenes DVDs. And about how much was this at retail? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, they're they're about, uh, it's got anywhere from 70 to 90. Depending. Okay, so it's yeah, not outrageous. So. No, it's like it not outrageous, right. Yeah. And if you're a collector, right, it, yeah, it's, it's worth, worth paying it. for and you get all the extra stuff that's also in game mm -hmm. and they don't just do the, the game itself the in-game treats because they have so much stuff out there you'll get an in-game treat for world of warcraft but then there are also stuff for starcraft oh I and there's see. stuff for uh, hearthstone so it's not just physical stuff you get a bunch of stuff right. that you get to unlock in the game exactly specific in, to in all of their games too so okay. like my portrait in starcraft 2 is a Pandaren marine. It's kind of the combination of that stuff, and that came from having the the, the Mr. Pandaria. Wow, that's collection amazing. Edition. So this is from Cataclysm. Um, that whole story had you know this big bad guy that sort of broke out of the crust of the world. So they've got got this red fiery yeah. stuff around the logo. Hmm. Mr. Pandaria absolutely got, has that Asian theme going on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right here in the corners. So that's mm -hmm. cool. Huh. And then the. The last one that I have is the uh, Warlords of Draenor, and that there's a lot of iron, black iron, uh, or dark iron. I, yeah, dark. I can't remember all the terms. I, uh, yes, <laughs> I play. You're, but you're doing so well. <laughs> you know, pretty good so so far. So I'm impressed. Thanks. Uh, so <laughs> well, this one just came out. Yes, this one just came out, and um, you're taking on the Iron Horde, is mm. what you're taking on. And it's a whole story, Back to the Future, you love Back to the Future. Oh, yeah. The story is kind of one of those alternate timelines, oh, sort of, where you're going back to the past, and it's different than what we're used to seeing. Huh. Because it goes back to a, a, a world that we had visited in Burning Crusade, the second expansion, but it's before this massive destruction that happened hmm. out there. So yeah, it's really interesting. The Iron Horde switch kind of got that iron look to it. It's even kind of got a sheen to it. Yeah, it's really cool looking. Man. Okay, so that's... So that's World of Warcraft. Yes, and you have uh, others here. Yes, exactly. So we should show these. Definitely. So StarCraft Two. So this is uh, Wings of Liberty. That was the first one that came out. Then Heart of the Swarm, and then they just announced the uh, the, the third one that they're going to do. Now this opening right here. Oh, I love this. This is yeah. I just I kind of want to play with it. Just I know. back and forth and back and forth. Again, I just love how much care and and work that, that just goes into these. Again, absolutely. And especially you know when you think about it, it's an online game. They don't have to do this. Right. They don't have to, but they do it. And the, and the fans love it, and you can tell if you watch anything from BlizzCon and the way that they talk to the fans that are there and about the fans that are there, there is a lot of fan service. They mm -hmm. know who makes the games, yeah. what they are, yeah. uh, and who pays for the games, <laughs> so they're really appreciative. And then I have the Diablo 3 uh, Collector's Edition Th as well. That's pretty so, cool looking too. Yeah, and it, it also has kind of a cool opening, mm -hmm. um, and oh. then on the inside you've, kind of, you've got Diablo's skull. Wow, that's cool looking. Yeah, and then all the stuff that, that comes in here. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, and it's funny because we didn't really even touch on the actual physical D&D &D games as well. Right, oh gosh, yeah. The, you can tell the people, I mean, if you're going to make a role-playing game, you know that you've got to have a foot in, they, or they had had, had a foot in D&D &D at yeah. one point or another. Well, I'm just going to reach back here because one of the things that I have in my collection, I don't, and again, I'm not a huge Blizzard um, collector, but sure. this, but this is one I'm really proud of. Because I'm, I'm jealous of this one. <laughs> I wish that I had that one because it's it's amazing. It is pretty cool. And so this is for uh, Diablo 2, and it's numbered. So they made seventy thousand of these. Uh, but what's really cool about it is that it comes with an actual pen and paper version of Diablo. Right. So it has like the DM screen. It has everything's themed, and and it, that's it's amazing. It's amazing. So yeah, and they had they did one version for StarCraft as well. It didn't come in a collector's edition. Mm. You just could buy this little supplemental thing. Mm -hmm. than Starcraft, uh, which is which is great. Um, yeah, that they they keep doing those little touches into other places beyond just their just yeah. their games. And there's a whole stack. I mean, you know, I used to work at Wizards of the Coast, and um, when I was there, they had this thing called the D20 system that Wizards of the Coast kind of owned, but they let people. It's almost like open source. Oh, okay. Um, and they did Warcraft and World of Warcraft D20 stuff. So there's hmm. a whole collection of those books too. Man. Well, so we honestly didn't show you everything in your collection. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's a, he shows up in his car, and literally, it's just like you did many trips. Right, I'm, yeah, I'm like, bringing this stuff into my house. I bring in one box; it's not that big, and he goes, "Is that it?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> <You> don't, like, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. I'd make three trips coming back yeah. and forth. But this is cool. This is sort of like an overview of your collection. It's yep. pretty awesome. Absolutely, and obviously something that I'm very passionate about and yeah. easy to talk about. So yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I love about having you on.
on this channel, honestly, is because this is, again, a, a, another avenue for game collecting that I know very right. little about, but yet it, it's its own little world. It's Definitely. own little world of Warcraft. You know what yeah. I mean? It's amazing. <laughs> so, well played. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> not, not very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad to show it off. I yeah. love talking about it. Um, like I said, it's become so much a part of the vernacular of my household, even. Mm -hmm. um, there's jokes that we make in the house, you know, and everybody <laughs> gets it, you know, from the oldest to the youngest kid in the house. Uh, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, it's great. Well, cool, man. Well, hey, thanks for coming on. Absolutely. And doing this. My pleasure. Let us know what you guys thought about these two videos down in the comments below. And do you collect? collect for Blizzard or do you collect other things, you know, maybe other companies? So there's so many out there. That Absolutely. Love to hear about it. And there are people that collect, like, there's a friend of the of the show that collects Sonic stuff, right? Oh, I mean, right, right. Yeah, just, Pete Dorr, yeah, I know. <laughs> absolutely. And he's yeah. crazy with just that specific thing. So if yeah. you have something like that that you have just gone yeah, you nuts just, you about... Yeah, you have to own everything for it. We need to know about it. Yeah, We've definitely. It. I'd love to hear about it. Post down in the comments below. Yep, for sure. All right. As always, I want to thank you for watching my channel and thank you for subscribing. Take care. You know what I just noticed? Josh really looks like Tony Stark. That's weird. I wonder if anyone's ever really mentioned it to him. I should probably do that. <laughs>